Hi, English Air here and I hope your day is going swimmingly. Today I'll bring you to Sagalasa's ancient city. It's in southwestern Turkey. It's near Burdur and Sparta. And since it's an ancient city, why don't we learn some idioms about the past that you can use in your next English conversation? Blast from the past. So these are like things or people that surprise you because you have almost forgotten about them. You're such a blast from the past. Wow, that's a blast from the past. Let's say for example, watching this movie again was a real blast from the past. I've almost forgotten this movie, but it still surprised me when I watch it again. So we call it a blast from the past. Water under the bridge. When we say that something or an event is just water under the bridge, these are like past events or past things that happened before that are not important anymore, that are not important right now. So they say like past is past. So it's like water under the bridge. Well, I think it's water under the bridge. Dude, it's water under the bridge. Please. Can we just so let's say for example, I don't want to talk about our argument before. It's just water under the bridge. So it means that I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's not important right now. So it just happened in the past and it's not relevant right now. So it's just water under the bridge. The rest is history. So you use this expression, the rest is history. When you want to say that everything that happened since then is already known, like people know about it already and you don't need to repeat saying it. And then we came back here and the rest is history. And, and he's like really into it and the rest is history. So let's say for example, we met while we were working in the factory and yeah, the rest is history. So like you don't want to repeat uh, this story because probably people already know about it. So you just fill it in with a, an expression, the rest is history. Take a trip down memory lane. When you take a trip down memory lane, you spend time reminiscing about the past, especially the happy moments or the happy memories that you have in the past. So you take a trip down memory lane. You want to take a trip down memory lane? We were taking a trip down memory lane. Let's say for example, my grandma always takes a trip down memory lane and she loves talking about her childhood. So that's how you use take a trip down memory lane as an expression. All along. So you use this expression when you want to say from the beginning or the entire time. It was you all along. You planned this all along. Let's use this expression in an example. I knew all along that his business will succeed. So it means I knew since the beginning that his business will succeed. Probably he's showing determination to uh, succeed in that business. So you can use that expression all along. It means uh, from the beginning or the entire time. Seen better days. When something has seen better days, it already passed its best and it's showing signs of wear, decay, and use. In short, it's very old. Looks like that laptop's seen better days. You know, the cigarette box has seen better days. For example, this building has seen better days. It has to be renovated. So this building has, it's, it's very, very old, and it's showing signs of decay and use. So that thing has seen better days in the good old days so I usually hear old people saying this in the good old days it's like um, there's a time in the past that they remember life being better in some ways you know so they would say in the good old days that's just what you did in the good old days yeah right it's like the good old days for example in the good old days children didn't have smartphones so they used to play outside together with their friends. That's it for today's lesson. If you want to practice these idioms, you may want to write your sample sentences right there in the comments. Let's check them together. And don't forget to hit thumbs up, 
share this video with your friends who want to learn and improve their English and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more English lessons and tips and I hope to see you soon on my next video.